Hello. It's me, John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Don't forget to like this video. Hit that like button right now. And subscribe to the channel for more videos where I start out with a dry erase picture of fast food logo. Today, of course, as you see, I'm trying something at Arby's. You might be wondering what I'm wearing. Well, this is just a sweet Halloween costume. You can see the M there. The white kind of makes it go away. But this is a Mario outfit, of course. Super realistic. And today is Halloween, which is why I'm wearing it. Anyway, Halloween in Arby's. What do they do? Well, they made the Diablo Dare. And yes, I've tried the Diablo Dare before. It came out last year. And last year I tried the chicken sandwich. They had the roast beef sandwich last year, but I didn't try it. But this year I'm going to try the Diablo Dare roast beef sandwich. But they also have a new item, Diablo Dare french fries, which I'm just now realizing as I sit here, they didn't give me any utensils for. So I'm going to run and grab some. Content. Anyway, I got a plastic spork that I picked up. I got this uh, delivered to my home. Um, same thing like last year. You're supposed to get a free small milkshake whenever you order one of these. I don't know if the delivery just doesn't do that, but I didn't get one anyway. And here we are with the Diablo Dare sandwich. Like last year, it comes with a spicy bun. Those look like chopped chilies or jalapenos. There's some kind of sauce there that I'm assuming is spicy. It's got a slice of cheese right there that I'm assuming is spicy. You got your meat, some lettuce, and more sauce on the bottom. I think last year I really enjoyed the chicken sandwich, so I'm hoping that I'll enjoy it again. And the roast beef. And here we go. It does hit you with a good amount of spice, like, right off the bat. I think whatever sauce is on there, it's definitely spicy. Mm. It has a... It has like a ghost pepper e flavor to it. Definitely spicy. Not the spiciest thing I've ever had, but it's pretty good spice wise. I would say it's definitely it's definitely spicy enough that you wouldn't want to have some on your fingers and then accidentally rub that on your eyes. Need a little bit of warmth around my forehead area.
I finish it. You guys eat on camera. Try not to sip the shake. I don't have a shake. But there's some like remnants of sauces that drip in there. Is it spicy? Yeah, it's pretty spicy. I would say a lot more spicy than a lot of fast food things out there. <laughs> Definitely leaves you with a good like stingy spicy sensation all around your cheeks and tongue and mouth. Nothing uh, that I can't handle or um, necessarily need assistance on. Uh, if it wasn't a challenge, sure, I'd have some to something right now to cool myself down. But uh, I think I think that's part of the challenge is to to try not to, at least for a while. Excuse me, I blow my nostrils out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, wait, before I try that, one thing I was thinking while I was eating that sandwich, uh, the chicken version is better. I think just in general, spicy fried chicken is a better flavor combination than spicy roast beef. Um, the roast beef is fine. Uh, I like Arby's roast beef. I like the flavor. I just think all that spice really covers up uh, the flavor of the roast beef. Um, I think to accentuate roast beef, you really need that like Arby sauce and cheese sauce. I think those two things together really uh, accentuate and come across nicely on a roast beef sandwich. Uh, whereas spicy stuff, I think comes across better um, on a chicken sandwich. Let's see how it tastes. Or fries. You can get this on crinkle fries or curly fries. I got mine on curly fries because Arby's curly fries are just way better. It's not even a contest. When Arby's first came out with the crinkle fries, I'm like, why? Your thing is curly fries. They're good. No one was like, hmm, I really like Arby's, but I wish I just had regular fries. I've tried them a few times, and they're not the worst fries I've ever had, but if you're going to try to give you a alternative to a really good curly fry, why choose a not-so-great crinkle fry? So for the, the loaded Diablo fries, it has a cheese sauce, which I think the cheese sauce is just the regular cheese sauce. There's no spice to that. But they do put the that dark red spicy sauce that was on the sandwich on here, as well as these um, jalapenos or chilies. So it does have the slice of cheese that the sandwich had. And I think overall it's not as spicy as the sandwich. Yeah. The other flies flies. The Diablo fries are much easier to eat, much less spicy. Um, the sandwich, well, I'm going to trade that. It is less spicy. I'm not going to say much less because exact Scoville heat is, is difficult to just estimate, especially after I just ate something spicy. But eating one thing that's spicy and another thing spicy, you can tell typically if it's more or less spicy by how much more spice it adds to your palate. This one didn't really add much at all. Um, 
to the fact it felt way less. It felt less. Sorry. In the sandwich. Anyway. I am uh, leaking uh, because of the spice. It tells you the level of the spice that's in here. I have not uh, had any hiccups from it. Um, so it hasn't reached that spicy level. I think most of the spice is just all contained to my mouth. Usually when I get hiccups, it's like I've swallowed something spicy and it's affecting me in the chest or the stomach. Um, but that hasn't really happened. I don't feel anything odd happening this way. It's just all in my mouth. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like heat on my forehead and drainage from my sinuses. <laughs> excuse me again. And a lot of like stingy heat in the mouth area. This hood has like a flap here that's supposed to look like a, a hat. Like it just flops down and covers my eyes, so. I'm not really a big fan of, of that aspect of this. This is why I try to like tuck it down that. Anyway. That's it for this video. Arby's. The Diablo Dare in both the roast beef and the french fries. Uh, specifically curly fries. Uh, two times I've tried it, both times I haven't gotten a shake yet with it. Um, but as you can see, it didn't really require one for me anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one, whatever that may be. Happy Halloween. I know when you're watching this, it's most likely definitely not Halloween. Probably mid-November, actually. But maybe this is a fun callback to when we all have Halloween this year. Anyway, see you later. Bye.